guys at that sale over there. Got a box of games. They wanted a dollar a piece and five bucks for the console. I ended up offering 20 bucks for all. Uh, they took it. It would have been up to like 16, but they said they may have more, so I wanted to leave a good note. I'll go over it more at the house. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, just got home. I'm gonna go over the stuff that was in that box. Uh, there's a slim PS2. It is missing like this little piece here. And it comes with a power cord. Not sure if it works, but even if it doesn't, still got some good value. White 360 controller, silver DualShock 3 PS3 controller. We have a Game Genie. Final Fantasy 7 for PS1. Uh, I have a black label copy upstairs that's missing a disc, so I'll see if the disc in here is clean that I'm missing on that and make that a complete box of black label because the discs are the same. There are sports titles and uh, King Salmon Loose is one of the loose games that I rush for sports titles. Here we have X-Men Mortal Kombat 2. We have the Beach Surfer Dude, Spider-Man. And then in here we have James Pond. And in there we have uh, Lemmings, but the Lemmings label is pretty rough. But for $20, an absolute steal, even if half of it doesn't work. I'm gonna show you the price charting on it now. So at 316, even if a third of it works, we're looking at like $100 value, so definitely a good lot. Uh, they originally, if I just paid them the price they were asking and everything, it would have been 16 bucks. Like I said earlier, gave them a couple bucks more. So they said they believe they have more stuff. This stuff was just absolutely buried. I could tell most of the stuff was in really rough shape. I've cleaned a lot of it up. For example, I mean, I didn't want to touch this previously. Now it's got some scuffs. Besides that, not too bad. Uh, they said it was just buried deep somewhere. So hopefully they find some more left in my number. So if I get anything else from them, I'll let you know. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, time to go over some of the yard sale stuff. Um, didn't do any recording. I was with a buddy, and I got like two hours of sleep, so I fought through today in general. Uh, this is some of the stuff. And then the next clip will be in the next morning when I bring the rest of the stuff out. The two best finds are still in the car, but uh, I can only carry in one box in tonight with some of the other stuff I was carrying, so grab this. First day of the day, I showed up. There was no games. I asked him. He brought these out. I asked how much you wanted a piece. He said a dollar. And he said, or five for all. So for five bucks, the, Ninja the Ninjago movie, it's like 15. Splatoon 2 is like 27, I think. Black Ops 3. Yeah, it is 3. iPad. Disney Universe. Then Minecraft PlayStation Edition. I can literally sell that to GameStop, and I'm in the profit there. Uh, next stop was another five hours spent. Picked up three VHSs. Picked up po Pokemon Primate Problems. That's pretty cool. Uh, this just fell out, so I'm going to grab it and slide it back in. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Burger King Kids Club, April Foolish. So that was pretty cool. It's got like an episode on it, I'm assuming. And then another one, The Great Boldini. And then Battlefield 1. And the main reason I paid five bucks for it all was the Black Ops 4 Pro Edition. I haven't looked up to see what this goes for. I'm assuming 15 to 20 bucks, so for followers for the stack. I'll trade off the Ninja Turtles VHSs because I don't like Ninja Turtles. Keep the Pokemon stuff, call it a day. Let's see, do I have the other part in here? I don't. I got this PS4 camera controller and a two terabyte uh, external hard drive. I paid 25 for both. I need the external hard drive and eventually I'll sell that and basically make some of my money back. Uh, a Fire Stick 4K, paid 15 for this. It goes anywhere from 35 to 40. I'll sell that locally for like 25 bucks. And I got on the toss in the Disney coin bank. I'm gonna give that to my mom. Let's see. For a grand whopping total of $4. Grab these four. Golden Eye Rogue Agent. Trying to help Underground 2. Nightfire. And 007 Everything or Nothing. They didn't have the console and all the other games they had are pretty filler titles. They had a controller, but the analog stick was destroyed, so not worth it. And then at a little swap shop, paid $20 for these four items. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Got a War Saga. A PS3 DualShock 3 controller that needs cleaned up. And a blue one. The blue one is super cool. Probably keep the blue one, it's my favorite color. I have a nice little collection of them going up there as I got the Final Fantasy one and the red one. 
So maybe I'll keep the blue one, but I'll sell the black one, make my money back on the lot. So pretty nice there. And then I have two big lots I'll show you in the morning or for you guys the next clip. Stay tuned. All right, guys, to go over some of the more yard sale stuff. This bundle was $20, came with a Wii. All the cords, two controllers and charging station. Came with the following games. I guess Guitar Hero 5 is missing its manual. I'll put that back in. Uh, but the best one being Wii Party. Last time I checked, this is like a $30, $40 game. So this will profit. I'll literally take all the other games. Maybe not Guitar Hero 5. I got to look and see what that's going for. But I'll take everything else, sell that for 30 bucks, And at that point in time, uh, over double my money on that. This slot was $20 as well. Some of the better titles being Crash, Rather Cortex, Teen Titans. Then we got all the way down to Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing, San Francisco Rush, Namco Museum randomly in there. Then we have a Slim PS2. All the cords, a few controllers. That was 20 bucks as well. Also two or three of the games, make my profit and then some there. Then sell the console and a bunch of the games with it for probably about 75 bucks. Uh, so nice purchase there. One second, I'm gonna show you my favorite pickup of the day though. So this one was kind of random. It's kind of scattered throughout the car, so I'll go over kind of all that was included. But pulled up to a yard sale that we accidentally found trying to turn around. We were looking for a yard sale that had a sign. Couldn't find it, went to turn around this neighborhood, found it. Then when we were trying to get out of the neighborhood, I pulled up to a yard sale that had stacks of games sitting there. And all the games, so for example, are like $1. Best game in the lot here. Marked at 50 cents, Super Mario Sunshine. But just tons of games. Um, ended up buying them all. So in this stack, you got some filler titles, but some good ones like Infamous, Resistance, Killzone, Turning Point, some fun games. Metal Gear Solid 4, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, GTA 4, Survival Instinct, Legendary Uncharted 2, Resistance, Fall of Man, so Resistance 1, Mafia 2, which I love, Bejeweled 3, Quantum of Solace, which I think is like 15, 20 bucks, Call of War, Sniper, Mafia 2 again, Dirt Army 2, Over the Hedge, Disc Only for GameCube, uh, they're the better ones being Batman, Resistance 3, Medal of Honor, and Gold Edition of Resident Evil 5. Here are some of the better ones there. Pac-Man Party, Sonic Colors, and Def Jr. Batman in a PAL version of GTA 4. Not sure how she ended up with a PAL version of GTA, but kind of entertaining. And then there, another copy of Minecraft, Crash Nitro Kart, uh, Sonic the Black Knight, and Sonic Zero Gravity. So I bought all of them at Sacred Price. Some sports titles too, which are in there. And she tossed in an FC Twin at no cost. I don't know if it works. Uh, they said they have more stuff they may sell, so hopefully she gets back to me on that. If not, still solid profit, so happy there. Stay tuned for more, guys. Hey, 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 hey.